Hello there, and this is a short video just to have a look at uh, uh, some of the triads, well, one of the triads in particular on the elemental wheel of life. So, without further ado, as they say, here is the circle. And uh, now, what we want to have a look at is the triad. So, for instance, you've got here here and here, which is warrior, sage, and enchantress. Other ones would be, for instance, patriarch, mother nature, and fool. So this is another triad. And uh, here we have the matriarch, uh, the child, angel, or nymph, and the jester. These are all the, the sort of um, triads that we get. There are four triads because there are 12 archetypes. What I wanted to look at was the, in particular, the triad of Enchantress, Warrior, and Sage, uh, because I just find this a very interesting triad and it's one which has been very important for me in my life. It's in many ways one of the most important triads, for instance, for occultists or people, for people who want to uh, investigate or explore the unconscious and things like this, or want to indeed do magic. Now, the Enchantress is the Cardinal of Water and she is very much uh, concerned with that whole area of the inner world, the imagination, the world of the magical. Uh, you need connection with her if you're going to actually go into this area. Uh, but also she, in a sense, represents that area in a, in a way. But to do that, you need the other archetypes in the triad. You see, you need the warrior. You need the warrior because you need fearlessness to go into the unconscious and to explore it. But also, you need the sage because you need his lack of attachment. You, mean he, you need his detachment and his lack of concern in terms of emotional drama to be able to go into this area and for it to not go out of control, for you to become obsessed by things or really worried by things. You need these three to all work together in order to be able to investigate the unconscious, in order to be, to be able to investigate the depths. It's like going down into, into the bottom of the ocean you need a hell of a lot of things to do that, yeah? Because you're normally living on the surface. But we all have parts of ourselves that are down there and we need to get to know them. So this is a very important triad. The other thing we can see from this, though, is that this is also the way to do magic. To do magic, you need imagination and you need will, and you always need a third something to make it work. Now, the Enchantress is the inner world. The warrior is how we make things happen in the outer world. He is how we get things to work, how we get things to happen. He does the work, he does the dirty work, yeah? And he does all the work out there, usually with very little thanks, to be truthful. Here is the inspiration. Here is the magic. Here is the imagination. Here is the twilight world that we go to as witches, and as magicians. And here is the fearless will to make things happen. And here, here is the equanimity and the peace that allows us to cope with this whole process. Because believe me, when this all starts working, life changes. Life really changes. Life becomes magical. And as uh, some of us were saying the other day, there are times when the inner journey seems to become an outer journey. And you need things like this if you want to be able to cope with that. So investigate the triads. They are really, really fruitful. 
they all say things, they all mean things. And just as a little addition, we've got this triad here. But where does magic manifest? Well, it manifests in the world of earth, in the world of form. So you see, we have all of this brought in too. Of course, all of these have earth second, you see. And they all bring the elements together, all together. I don't think the elements in real life are ever brought together in equal measure. They're always in these different sorts of patterns. And those patterns bring about the magic. They bring about all these different things that can happen. And they're all really amazing and wonderful. So have a look at the triads. See what you think about them. See what you can make of them. See where they occur in your lives. And see how you can use them. Because they're pretty amazing.